Howdy, how's it going? Breezy M here. Let's play Look in the Window. This is behind me in the mirror-like window on the second landing. I cocked my head to the side. Who was behind me? I didn't recognize her. She was elegant. Elderly. Her long gray hair was up in a neat bunt. Her skin was silvery, unnaturally pale. She was tall and long, thin and light. She wore a long beige dress with an apron. She stood there, staring at a spot above my head as if looking at her reflection. Who was she? Looking back, people told me she was here, that this is where she always was. No one saw all of her. Everyone saw something. A flash of a dress. A flick of a hand. Something out of the corner of your eye. Always in the second story window. She she always been there. No one knew who she was. No one knows how she got there. She just was. And she always would be. I wouldn't care. Normally. I don't believe in ghosts. Usually. I don't believe in ghosts. There must be someone behind me. No one was at the top of the stairs. I turned back, confused. She moved one step closer. Her eyes are on me now. Her face emotionless, cold. I knew I should leave. This isn't a game I should play. But I'm curious. She does me she doesn't seem menacing. I'm not afraid. She feels calm and empty. I turn back to the stairs. No one. Back to the window. One step closer. We continue our game, back and forth, closer and closer. Her expression never changing, my curiosity growing and growing. What will she do when she gets to me? Will she touch me? <clears throat> will I touch her? Will she disappear? Will I? I don't know and I shouldn't want to know, but I do. So we continue. One step, two step, three step, four step, five step. She was right behind me. I could feel her cold breath on my neck. Could feel her, her chill radiate on my body. She whispered, A part of me wanted to walk away. Part of me knew I shouldn't turn around, knowing something would happen. Part of me knew she would let me, let me, what do do? Oh, what should I do? Ooh, face her or leave now? Let's face her. I turn. Her body is cold. We stand nose to nose, her freezing body freezing me. Every breath is struggle. I see wrinkles around a tight lipped mouth. Pale freckles on a pale face, still emotionless, still regal. Her eyes, the only part of her not beige, they are piercing, freezing blue. She is menacing now, but I am not afraid. I imagine a house with a great door. She stands before it and she slowly, slowly raises a hand to knock on my door. And I let her in. Okay then. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna go back to the part where I make the choice to face her or turn away, and we'll see what happens after that. Okay, let's leave now. I run. I run and don't look back. I don't return to the house, but every so often, I feel her eyes on my back. I broke the rules. So now, she can too. She begs me to return constantly, begs me to go back to the stairs, begs me. Wow. Okay, well that's all there is for this game. Interesting visual novel, I liked it. Wish there had been a few more choices there, and maybe a little bit of a longer story, but that's okay. Well, thanks everybody so much for watching. Uh, give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe, tell all your friends, whatever. Help my little channel grow a little bit, please.
I would like some more subscribers and uh, you know okay I'm gonna ask everybody anyway thanks to everyone for your support and I'll see you soon